What's going on guys? My name is Barney and welcome back to the weekly forum scroll number 16. So, first of all, uh, thanks for the continuous support on all of my videos. I appreciate every single one of you watching my videos over and over again. Um, also, if you have any other ideas than the forum scroll for videos on my channel, please, uh, you can suggest things in the comment section down below since uh, the forum scroll gets a little bit old after 15 episodes of it just talking to an internet page, if you know what I mean. Um, and also, I was hesitating to make this video since we didn't have a lot of news or um, a lot of uh, interesting topics to talk about on the forums. Uh, so, uh, finally, after I post something on Twitter, like I'm not going to <laughs> make a forum scroll this week or maybe at least not this day, um, then exactly one hour after I posted that, um, I was gone, I couldn't make a video, but uh, then uh, Rough Engines decided to put some news on it. So we're going to look at that right now on the news discussion. Uh, we've got Q, uh, not Q&A 5, but the Renegade line news number 25. And also uh, I knew my microphone was lo uh, last episode, it was pretty bad, but I was trying out something new which didn't work out pretty well. So I hope it's fixed now. Um, and let's get right into the news. <laughs> I love the memes. <laughs> so we've got the character model from uh, the resident character over here and it has changed quite a lot in my opinion. Um, for some reason he doesn't have nipples or his nipples are underneath his boobs. <laughs> okay so basically it it's a pretty nice model, pretty standard. Um, it looks nice but it's all about the hitboxes. Um, so basically, I don't know uh, what all those lines mean, but the purple thingies are the hitboxes. So one thing I, I'm questioning is why aren't, uh, why isn't the whole body uh, a hitbox? So basically, if these are pants, then of course it's pretty, pretty normal that this isn't a hitbox. But if it's just the body, my, I mean, like my body isn't that round on my belly. It's a little bit unnatural looking body type, so I'm not sure if it's a mistake or if it's just too pre-alpha to actually uh, make it right or something, or it's just me not knowing about the human body. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, yeah, the arms also look pretty weird all on the circles and stuff. Maybe it's how you make hitboxes, I don't know, I, I don't have any, I don't know anything about this, but uh, it's probably how you make hitboxes. Um, then also this is the back of the character, almost the same. It's uh, okay, pretty okay. So let's zoom back to 100%, yes. So that's it for the news, unfortunately. Uh, it wasn't really that much, but we got the updated model, which looks kind of creepy, <laughs> like, a uh, like a lot of people said. If you stare to this like more than a minute, it's uh, creeping you out. <laughs> so uh, we're going into the forms at the moment. Um, so we're going into the general discussion as first. Um, we're going to talk about the region restriction. That basically means if Renegade Lion won't be playable in any other countries. Uh, for example, people from Australia are hesitating if they can play uh, Renegade Lion. Since uh, there were... Uh, maybe, I think Renegade Lion won't be uh, out for banning any countries uh, from the game, except for maybe North Korea. Um, but <laughs> maybe even not, but the people won't be able to play it anyways over there. Um, but uh, for people in Australia, I don't know if it's uh, possible to rent a server in Australia. I think it will be possible, so people will have a decent thing when the game is in the beta or when it's a little bit more popular, of course. But in the pre-alpha, I mean in the alpha, I don't know if it's possible to rent a server in Australia or something over there. But uh, definitely in Europe it will be playable the best, I think, since all the developers, uh, almost all the developers are European. One is American, I thought, or Canadian, I don't know. Maybe it's more, uh, at least not everyone is European, but most of them are. Then the Steam and Renegade Line account. How will the ad friend system work? I, if I made an account on the Renegade Line website, how will I play with my friends that downloaded the Steam version? So that's a pretty interesting thing. I think you need to be uh, friends with them on Steam. Um, I think you need maybe 
the Steam client will launch the Renegade line launcher.exe, exe, exe, I mean. Um, and basically, I think I don't think you need to download the game via uh, via Steam. I think you just need to drag the full, uh, the exe file in the right folder or something, and then it will boot automatically since he's searching for the the, the, the launcher. I think. I think that's how it's going to work. Not sure. Maybe you need to, to download the game via Steam and via the website. I think I'm going to play via the website since I know I'm not that big of a Steam fanboy. I only play CSGO at the moment from Steam, but that's basically because you have to do it uh, via Steam. So I think it's going to work like that. Um, also, this form scroll might be a little bit shorter. I don't know for sure. I I intend to make it like 10 minutes, but uh, it might go back to 50 minutes as usual, or 20 maybe. Nah, it won't be 20 this episode at least. Um, so now we're going into the suggestions, and then into the art, and then we're basically done, I think. Um, this suggestion is pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, it would be great if you could showcase your weapon uh, by pushing a certain key or by using some kind of emote, especially if you want to show off your nice weapon skin. Which is pretty interesting, but um, one thing... Okay, so this suggestion is from uh, the CSGO community or something. You can show, uh, showcase your weapon over here. And basically you see uh, the skin from various angles and that's basically pretty cool. But with CSGO... It's a first-person shooter, so you can you the, the only thing you see all the time are your gloves and your pistol or gun, whatever. Um, in the Renegade line, however, we are in third person, so it means you see your character from behind and you're not in the character's perspective. So basically, if you're going to showcase your weapon, it would be really weird to see a character uh, looking at his weapon. Um, it's it's not weird, but in while you're walking or whatever it's it's I think it's pretty weird and also it's a third person so the gun doesn't have that much of an impact compared to a first person shooter but of course it would be nice to to uh, show off your clothes and your weapons by using emotes that that's already one of the things uh, which is sort of uh, inspecting your gun um, and maybe some idle animations with inspecting your gun is also pretty cool, but I don't think it really fits in the third person theme. Maybe it does. Um, I mean, like, uh, you can post your opinion about it in the comment section, like, uh, what your opinion is on the situation. Uh, I think it won't be very nice. I think emotes are good enough to uh, showcase your uh, clothing and weapons. Then one more suggestion. Uh, we also have this one, the rank system suggestion, maybe I'll do it later on, but it's a very big topic and um, I think it will take up too much time. Um, okay, so I don't know if it was over here. Uh, maybe this one? I just, I'm just clicking on this one. Oh, someone made a tank. Um, the... Mm, there won't be any tanks on release, he says, and then um, blah, 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 blah. Um, he made a tank and basically is telling how he made the tank or something. I haven't, I have seen this thread multiple times, but I, for some reason, I don't feel like reading all this wall of text. But people seem to like it or something. I don't know. Um, I think it's about uh, the person in the front that there will be something who will be able to shoot things instead of uh, also uh, one over here. So uh, that's probably a three person tank, if I'm correct. Maybe it's a two person tank that there won't be any anyone at the upper thingy. But basically, um, that's a pretty cool idea. It, uh, it's pretty cool, in my opinion. I, I wasn't intending to... Uh, <laughs> to discuss this subject, but uh, I actually did, <laughs> but not very, sorry for not going in depth into your uh, suggestion, it's just a very big suggestion, and I ha haven't read it beforehand, so it's pretty hard to talk about, um, and also we're going to look at the sk wicked sk machine gun skin, um, this is his very first skin, so it's pretty good for uh, his first time in my opinion. It's the machine gun, yeah, the machine gun. 
Uh, it looks pretty neat in my opinion. The only thing which I had to say about it is uh, this middle part looks a bit, a bit weird. Uh, not really... How do you call it? It doesn't really look... It fit into the other, other theme of the gun, if you know what I mean. The red is good, but it seems a little bit fake or something. And uh, the name of this one is the Kiss of Death, since there's a kiss on the left side and one on the right side. But people seem to not like the kiss for some reason over there. It's okay in my opinion, it, it's, it's okay. And then the second version is Bloodlines. So one of the things of Bloodlines is, uh, is that he corrected the, the fake parts, sort of. And he removed the kisses. But... Um, I don't know, it's a little bit empty over here now. I think there should be a lot uh, other scratches and stuff. And I forgot to log out my Steam again <laughs> because I'm <laughs> stupid. Stupid! I'm very stupid. Um, but uh, it's a little bit empty over here. But it's a pretty cool skin for his first time. So uh, give him some credit. Am I on 100%? Yes, I was. Well, basically, if I uh, scroll out. The chat will be over here, holy shit, so that uh, that's how it feels to have a big monitor, I have a laptop. So I don't have a big monitor as you guys can see on my screen. Um, let's see, we also had Promers Hangout, which is a pretty new thread with a lot of shit. Uh, sh I don't mean shit negative, but uh, a lot of things. He made a lot of signatures, this one's pretty cool, this one's okay, it's Battle of the Heroes signature, I don't like it. But this one is pretty cool. Uh, I, I said I don't like it, I mean like, for a renegade line, for um, why would you do your B of H signature, I mean like, it's pre it's pretty over man, get over it. The one with Fictio is pretty cool, uh, Fictio is a Ralph Engines member as well right now, so congrats for you. Uh, oh shit, all, everything has been opened, okay. So, Battle of the, uh, oh this is all for Fictio, okay. And then some other things, this one is pretty cool though, this one is pretty cool, and then also all of these, oh, <laughs> these are all empty. And also uh, things from uh, his real life or something with his car and just signature and whatever. This looks pretty cool. So uh, if, I don't know if this is shop, no, this is not the shop, but uh, give him some credit for it. It's pretty nice. And that's basically it for this form school, I think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Barney. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!